In the vastly infinite cosmos, there is nothing more unimaginably complex and biologically diverse than the human brain. We are the only known conscious being capable of thought, reason and idea. Beyond the boundary of human civilization, even meaning ceases to exist. The answer to our uniqueness lies in the study of millions of years of human evolution and the fascinating human brain along with it. In Africa, primates continued to evolve 25 to 30 million years ago. Neither humans nor the chimps evolved from the monkeys that are around today. The present day monkeys are more like our cousins. We did not evolve from chimpanzees as well. It means that we are not more highly evolved than they are. Instead, our lines of descent split off from a common ancestor with chimpanzees about 7 million years ago. Then chimpanzees further split into a separate species, the bonobos. The first known hominin emerged in Africa millions of years ago, which means that we share a common ancestor that lived 7 million years ago. Hominis are our much closer relative, more than the monkeys and the chips. It wasn't until about 60,000 years ago that the first truly modern humans began to leave Africa. These were hunter-gatherers living in small groups roaming a wide landscape, but they were different from their predecessors, adapting a revolutionary way of life. After leaving Africa, this fully modern species were leaving behind evidence that their minds were unique and evolving with time. Beats and artifacts have been found along the routes our ancestors took. Durable items like beats are of no use for hunting, gathering or protection, which suggests that they were concerned about something beyond just survival. Expression in materials is one of the hallmarks of the human evolution. Humans using technology in the service of social identity was momentous. Improved technology suggests a great deal about humans' emerging ability to transmit information over great distances across time. The brain has undergone some remarkable changes through its evolution. The most primitive brains are little more than cluster of cells punched together at the front of an organism. These cells process information received from the sense organs also located at the head. Over time, brains have evolved. The brains of vertebrate animals have developed in both size and sophistication. Humans have the largest brain in proportion to the body size of any living creature and also the most complex. The human brain is around 4 times bigger than the chimps and around 15 times larger than the mouses. But size isn't the whole story. Studies have shown that there is not a particularly strong relationship between brain size and intelligence in humans. There are some interesting differences when we compare the pattern of brain growth in humans to chimpanzees, our closest living relatives. Both brains grow steadily in the first few years, but the shape of the human brain changes significantly during the first year of the life. During this period, the developing brain will pick up information from its environment, providing an opportunity for the outside world to shape the growing neural circuits. Different regions of the brain have become specialized with distinctive structures and functions. For example, the cerebellum is involved in movement and coordination, whereas the cerebral cortex is involved in memory, language and consciousness. It's very unlikely that the changes in the brain happened overnight. There wasn't a miracle mutation that magically allowed us to speak and walk upright and to cooperate with one another and to figure out how the world works. Evolution does not work that way. The actual organization of behavior goes on at the level of the individual nerve cells and their connections. The brain has a hundred billion nerve cells, probably a hundred trillion connections, which are arranged in different ways and a lot of our evolution consisted not just in getting more of this stuff, but in wiring it in precise ways to support intelligence. Changes in the human lifestyle for the last 50,000 years have had very little to do with any biological change in our brains. It is around this time that Homo sapiens lived alongside with another very similar species known as the Neanderthals. Archaeological records suggest that they probably lived in small groups and due to their high energy needs spent most of their time hunting. The Neanderthal brain may not have been wired to support effective communication and diplomatic skills. 
they would have been extremely difficult to get along with and they used their oversized eyes and large brains to survive and hunt in the lower light levels in Europe. The reason that we live very differently today than the cavemen lived is not only because we have better brains but because we've been accumulating all of the discoveries that our ancestors have made and we have the benefit of a huge history of inventions that we communicate non-genetically through language, documents or customs. By understanding how the human brain evolved, researchers hope to identify the biological basis of the behaviors that set humans apart from other animals. Behavior can influence the success of a species. So it is reasonable to assume that human behaviors have been shaped by evolution. Understanding the biology of the brain may also shed some light on many conditions linked to human behavior, such as depression, autism or schizophrenia. In our next episodes related to the brain, the mind and consciousness, we'll dive deep into the workings of the human brain. If you guys are new to the channel, then I do encourage you to smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single video on our channel. As well as giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button below. We make content on a wide range of subjects and you can even suggest us the topics you want us to cover in the comment section below.